Hi everyone, this is Matt, and uh, this is my very first Gunpla video. Um, it's an unboxing, and this was the very first I had uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, spent some time customising, so we've got the paintwork done, of course panel lining, a barb toast there. Can't say it's my favourite shape, um, although watching the series is pretty cool. But let's get into the unboxing and see what I can do next. show you why I chose these ones um, but I didn't want to spend too much so this is less than 50 pounds about 45 pounds and as you can see from Games and Cards UK but first things first we have one of the little SD kits I've seen quite a few they look pretty sweet not sure exactly how big they're gonna be but I thought I've got to give that a try and uh, only 10 quid can't complain and this is Gundam 00 Lots in that series, but around this time I think there's lots and lots of different types of Gundam, so this is the, as far as I can see, the original 00, GN 0000. Let's have a look inside. The instructions here, I do like the instructions. Loads of detail, loads of lovely, lovely pictures. However, all in Japanese. So I would like to read all of this, get some detail on the actual figure. But hey, it is what it is. This won't be too difficult being the SD kit. And whether I customize it, not sure. But we can always build it and then decide afterwards. In the bag here, let's get these open. I've been waiting to open this for ages. I got it a good few days ago. And I've been desperate to get into it. I'm busy setting things up. There we are, so first off, sprue B there, the white, and when I got Barbatos, the first thing I realised was that the quality and the feel of the items is very, very good uh, compared to the model aircraft I've been making. So here we've got, oh these are shoulder pieces, so it's like he's got nozzles on the shoulder. The headpiece is quite big actually. But being that cartoon style, that won't necessarily tell us how big it is. Joint pieces. And this, what I do like is the way they, uh, they mix the colours on the sprues. Very clever. There's a nice clear green, should come out very well. A few details here. Um, obviously we could do some painting, different sections here. Stickers. I'm not sure about stickers. I may just do a bit of painting. But again, we'll uh, we'll put it together and we'll see how that comes out. And the last one here. So this is A2. A couple more blue bits. And oh, there we are. So these are the feet. Again, oversized on the SD kit. Oh, there's the chest. So it does look similar to the HG kits in size, but of course, short legs and short arms. Good stuff, looking forward to that, won't take too long. Next up, um, I had a look at Iron Blooded Orphans, and there's plenty to choose from. But this one here, Astaroth, um, is not actually on the series. It's on a comic, as far as I know. And then, of course, I thought, oh, I need to look up the comic and try and buy the comics, but they're in Japan only, so it might take a bit of effort there. 
basically bought this one because I just thought it looked really good. Really good proportions, chunky. Compared to Barber I mean, I like Barber Toast, but the style isn't exactly what I fancy doing. So with this, with those, those big shields on the arms, yeah, looking good. This one I'll build and then definitely customise. I haven't decided on any colours yet. Let's move this out of the way. Three bags, plenty of pieces. And here we are, very cool looking instructions again. Love to get some more details, but hey. So this first page on the inner frame, very, very similar to Barbatos. And this is, as I say, one of the Gundam frames in Iron Blooded Orphans. And how many was there? There was uh, 72 frames, apparently. So that gives Bandai a good opportunity to create 72 of these. So interior very very similar. And there we are so on the outside here there's the main body together and we've got the backpack, weapons, shoulder pieces to fit on. Oh even uh, a sword holder as well. Very nice. And we can turn it into wings. Does he fly? Don't know. We'll have to check out that comic. But yeah, awesome. Definitely going to customise. Uh, just need to think of a paint job. I've been thinking, you know, grey and orange, um, different types of grey. But first things first, we'll give it a build. In the packages. So that looks like feet on this side here. Two parts to each. Uh, they're definitely arm pieces um, for the uh, forearm. And of course joints. And this will be is that the part of the, uh, the shield slash wings. As always, good quality stuff. One thing I learned from doing barbed toast is take your time. The longer you take with it, the better it will turn out. Oh, there we are, so this looks very familiar. This could even be the exact same frame that Barbatos had, yeah, every single thing here looks familiar. Yep, yeah, it's gotta be. What's it got on here? High grade IBI, Iron Blood Orphans. So yeah, that's a generic uh, interior frame. And on top will be all of the armor. Nice big chunky pieces, that's the back section. Piece there in red. So, even on a basic build, that's going to look pretty cool. Bag number three. Ah, stickers again. Just a few there. Decide if we want to use those later. This is Spruce C and it just says HD 144 so no actual name on that but it's got to be particularly for Astaroth. So that's where the sword belongs and then we've also got a nice cannon there. 
hand pieces, um, probably just the one hand piece. The head piece there looks again 99% the same as Barbatos. Chest and back. So, yeah, all looking good. Fantastic. And Iron Blood Orphans, so this is from, uh, it's called Gecko. So I need to do a bit of research, look that all up. And item number three. I could have bought more, but I just didn't want to do over the top. I not want to spend too much, unfortunately. Uh, there we are. So this I saw uh, all of the Wing Gundam on YouTube. They've got the entire series on there. Um, maybe a bit of a bootleg copy, but still got to watch the whole series and also Endless Warps. But this is from the series rather than Endless Warps. And if you've seen both, uh, you'll know that Endless Warps has uh, you know, a hell of a lot more detail on Wing Zero. I have to check out how tall it's going to be. So compared to, to Barbatos, I reckon the two we've just looked at are going to be slightly taller. Number 174 there. I need to look up and see, is it the numbers for every single one or is it just Gundam Wing? Although doing that might be a problem because I might want to collect them all. I've only been into Gundam a really short period, but I've hit it hard and fast. So, a lot more colour variation in here. Considering the size, there's only a few stickers. We'll see how they look later on. And joint pieces. So that must be the center, I'm guessing the center of the chest. It's the one bit on there. However, it's pretty tiny. Part of the wings there, uh, the arm pieces. I thought I had to get wing zero, or at least one from Gundam Wing series. They're all pretty cool to get the whole team. Nice couple of beam sabers. Much more flexible than the rest of the kit. There we are, so there's the chest section. Always gives you an idea of how big it's going to be when it's finished. There we are, feet. And this red section, just looking at the box, that looks like it's part of uh, the shoulder piece. Few yellow pieces, including the uh, the headgear. Need to paint that gold for sure. So very similar to the other sprue. The extra bits for the wings. Ah, there we are. So there is one of the main head pieces. tricky to do some details on there but it must be done and lastly here sprue B and 
I'm not sure how generic it is, but it's a lot of interior frame. Hands, I can just see one pair of hands there. Got the rifle. So yeah, all looking good. Lastly, instructions. All very similar. But like I said, take your time. Get those nub marks off nicely. And you'll end up with a good model no matter what happens. I do worry that when I customise it I'll make it worse, but again, take your time. Excellent. Thanks very much. Um, in conclusion, well they're all good, aren't they? We know that. They're all good, they're all going to be fun to build. Cases. Which one do I do first? Thank you very much. Uh, once I've built them, I will do uh, follow-on reviews. Um, but yeah, for now, thanks very much. And like I said, it's my first Gunpla video. So uh, if you can hit the like button, it'd be very much appreciated. And we'll see where we get to. Thank you very much.